We survived in Minecraft for one week and started off as noobs, of course, but quickly worked our way up to Minecraft pros. Only one big problem. No, you might want to get out of there! Zombies and an Enderman. Ugh, you guys are really strong. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Minecraft Week the movie. What's going on everyone? It's Papa Jake and welcome back to Minecraft Week. Ugh. We have officially started our Minecraft Week 2021 and we are kicking it off. You can't start Minecraft Week in diamond armor. Logan, we're doing new versus pro today and we're the pros, bro. We got diamond armor, we got diamond swords, we got diamond bathtubs. We don't even need to craft our own chests, Logan. We got chests everywhere. Boom! Crafting table. Oh, and can I not forget the furnace? And Logan, what's more important for a pro Minecrafter than having your very own enchantment table? Dude, this enchantment table's sick! That's not all, Logan. Our chest has come fully packed with a set of diamonds. So we really are the pros. That's right. We are the pros. I've read every single Minecraft book you can possibly buy. None of them help me, but I'm a pro now. Because guys, today we are starting off Minecraft week with a classic noob versus pro challenge where me and Logan are going to be going up against Phil and Mr. Biggs to see who can build the ultimate Minecraft base and hide their diamonds. Now guys, if you like Minecraft week and you want us to continue, we've got a ton of awesome plans. So as always, smack that like button down below. Let's try and crush 50,000 likes. I know you guys love Minecraft as much as I do. So let's try and crush that like button. And of course, as always guys, if you want to shout out at the end of our video all you have to do is hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that bell button so you never miss a brand new video and comment hashtag squad so you can be a part of the official papa jake squad now it's time to meet our competitors and the competitors we're meeting come big and small we have phil and mr biggs who will be going up against us in a classic minecraft pro vs noob challenge me and logan being veteran pros of minecraft have been given an abundance of supplies while mr biggs and phil will have to work and scavenge their way to find items both teams will have exactly two hours to create the ultimate minecraft base filled with defenses and decoys to hide seven diamonds after the two hours are up we will both take turns trying to raid each other's base. Whoever can raid it the fastest and find those seven diamonds wins. Will the pros win or will the noobs take over? Leave a comment down below who you think is going to win and which team you're on. Let's get this challenge started. Logan, that's not- I'm in my Minecraft pro gear, Jake. Okay. Well, Might not look like diamond armor, but it's swaggy swaggy woo. It is swaggy swaggy woo. You know what, if I if I came to school and you were wearing that, the first thing I'd think, that guy's a Minecraft pro. I got creeper gloves. No one has creeper gloves unless they know how to use a keyboard and mouse. Okay, so Jake may have challenged us to a noob versus pro, and we are the noobs in this situation, but I think we're gonna win this challenge. It might be our first day on Minecraft, but we've got what it takes. Woo! I'm Mr. Biggs, and I'm gonna build a big base. That's the attitude. I got the schematics for our base. There's no chance of them winning. That's right. Phil and Mr. Biggs over there think they're so slick because they're noobs and they're gonna have that first noob advantage. But me and Logan have been at this game much longer than them. I remember back in the good old days when there wasn't even diamonds, there was just sand. If you didn't get a pickaxe, you had to use your bare hands to mine that sand and then make a sand house. And you'd live in that sand house and that was all you were happy with. Now we have things like netherite, something I never had before. All right, well, Logan has a good idea as to how we're gonna be building this, but he is gonna be in charge of the actual build itself. On the other hand, because yours truly happens to be a master of disguise, we are gonna be splitting up our talents. I am gonna be in charge of the defenses and decoys while Logan is gonna be in charge of the build. One second, Jake, and I will have the greatest diamond vault known to mankind. He's, uh, he's literally drawing a square. I picked him on my team because I thought he knew about, you know, professional building, but uh, that's a box. This might be harder than I thought. All right, Bigsy, first things first. If we're gonna win this new verse pro challenge, we need to gather as many resources as we can because our build's gonna be super big. Phil, you've got the ax. Right, okay. Bigs? What, what is that? Bigs, is that a, that's a spider? Bigs, Bigs! Biggs, you already have the shield. Here's my axe. Go get it, buddy. Phil, I don't know if I can do this. You got this, Biggsy. Whoa. 
Oh, oh Biggs, you got him! <laughs> Let's go! No more Spire to worry about now. All right, now we can just concentrate on building and winning this challenge against Logan and Jake. One thing noobs don't know about in Minecraft is using all of Minecraft. And when I say that, I mean every little bit that Minecraft can give you. That's why I have a treasure map. I'm gonna go track down this bad boy and get us some upgraded armor, maybe some weapons, maybe some assets to use in our base and defend it. And since I'm a professional, this should only take a few minutes. Check it. My horse, pre-tamed, 400 horsepower, ready to go out on this mission. Minecraft's got nothing on me, because I'm a pro today. And I was a pro today, because today I had to show these noobs that pros know Minecraft best. With my 400 horsepower, pre-tamed horse, I was able to track down the hidden treasure in no time. Whoa there, Bessie. Whoa, slow down, slow down now. Looks like Buttercup brought us here safe and sound. Time to grab that treasure and get back to Logan. I don't know what's gonna be inside this treasure, but whatever it is, it's gonna help us show Phil and Mr. Biggs that we're Minecraft pros. Oh no. Actually, you know what? I'm a Minecraft pro. Let's make this more fair. See, Minecraft pro. Oh, let's find this treasure. Okay, Big Z, so I know we're the noobs in this situation, but I really think we can pull this off. Guys, we are gonna be using this whole structure as our base of operations to hide the diamonds. What if we just hide it underneath here? Would, would that work? No, I don't think that's gonna work because Jake and Logan are really good at Minecraft. But I did come up with a couple ideas that I think might stump them on to where the diamonds are. We're gonna deck this place out and have booby traps everywhere. No. Everywhere. So Phil, what's your starting plan? Well, what's the scariest thing in all of Minecraft? Oh, yeah, that's definitely the Ender Dragon. No, spiders, Big Z. So we're gonna get as many spiders as we can along here, and Jake and Logan are gonna have to crawl through a bit of spiders. Next thing, Big Z, we're gonna need to gather as much coal as possible. Phil, why do we need coal? Because as Jake and Logan make their way up the slide, they're gonna set off a redstone tripwire that's gonna release all the coal down the slide, making it impossible to climb. And then the pinnacle of our plan, Big Z. Yeah, Phil? We're going to need to gather as many chicken eggs as possible. So go get to farming. Phil, I'm on it. Okay, as much as I'm a Minecraft pro, I realized that I brought only a diamond sword and no uh, digging material. So it looks like we're doing this old fashioned. <laughs> and after hours of punching the ground and a broken hand, I was finally able to find my treasure. Oh, <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be good. <laughs> Bruh. Seriously? All that for some wheat? I could have found wheat like 40 times before I even got here. All right, that's fine. Minecraft's throwing us a curveball. Can't always win. Should take Bessie back home and uh, probably help Logan out. Maybe don't tell him the full story. I, uh, I got you this for the, uh... Jake, why are you sweating and look like you just went to war? No reason. I, uh, I got you bread. That's where I went. I went to the, to make bread. It's really easy to do in Minecraft. I just got salad. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna ice my hand and uh, we will get building. Looks like Phil and Mr. Biggs aren't much ahead of us, so. Hey, wait, Jake, Jake, check it out. I have our full schematics here. Now it is very important that the other team doesn't see this because this blueprint gives away our entire plan. You have the front entrance here, front door here. Right here is a hidden elevator system displayed here. Wall, elevator, when you click the button, the wall moves up which leads into the secret room, and we have a bank vault here with the diamonds. Okay, you know what, Logan? That actually looks like a really good idea. I think there's no way they're gonna find that. But just to be on the safe side, I'm still gonna be in charge of defenses. So while you get building that, I'm gonna start working on some of my Papa Jake custom defense systems. We have the blueprints for our base fully completed, so now it is time to start building. So while Logan's working on our base, I've decided to start working on some of our defenses. The first of which is going to be a crazy water defense. So when they try and come and steal our diamonds before they even get close to our base, we're gonna have a very wet surprise for them. We have our table elevator system plugged in. That is awesome. So this is the table that is gonna hide the secret entrance to where we stash the diamonds. Okay guys, so check this out. I've just set up one of the first water defenses we're gonna have. Now I have nicely wired our redstone to our water dispensers that are gonna dispense water at an extremely crazy rate. So I can turn them all on at once or one at a time, depending on how much water I want. But uh, let's test this out and see what it looks like. Hey, 
Hey, Phil, look at all the coal I got. Ho oh, ho, that's gonna be awesome, guys. Also, Phil, while I was gathering coal, look what I found, a spider spawner. What the, get that thing out of here. But it'll be perfect, Phil. Okay, get it in there quick. Ooh. Okay, if that spawner does what it's supposed to do, that room's gonna be filled with spiders later. Perfect, good thinking, Biggs. What about those chickens? Phil, they should be laying eggs as we speak. All right, this is gonna be awesome. Welcome into our Minecraft base. It's looking pretty awesome. We got glowstone lights. We got ourselves a crafting table, vaulted ceilings, the secret space, which is so cool. Check it out. This is the elevator. You press the button and boom, secret door shuts. What? What secret room? I don't see a secret room, but I do see the elevator button, which we have to cover up, make it look like something not suspicious. So I got this cool little creeper pattern. I'm gonna pretend this is a high-end art piece. And just like that, we have our elevator shaft hidden by the creeper art. No one's gonna suspect a thing. We also have Jake's attack system, which when you open this, you have full access to the water sprinklers but we still don't have a roof on this place. We still have a lot of work to do, but I do think our base is by far way better than theirs. I haven't seen theirs, but I feel like ours is definitely the pro base. Okay guys, so our fort is coming along amazing, but I forgot, we don't have any redstone. And to set off a lot of the booby traps we have planned, we need redstone. So I think I'm gonna go try to bargain with Jake and Logan to give us some redstone and trade them some coal or whatever they want that we have. Hopefully they'll be friendly because if not, we might have to change our plans. Logan! Jake! I request a trade! Phil, I could hear you from a mile away. Here's your redstone. I don't need your coal. I literally do not need the coal. I am a pro. Wow, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. All right, guys, so Logan's been working on the base itself, but I have been in charge of all of our defenses, and I've come up with a TNT blaster. Jake, this Jake, isn't TNT. It's water balloons. We couldn't get clearance to use real TNT. It's a bit too explosive. So we've got a TNT blaster using this massive catapult or slingshot, not sure what you want to call it, but basically put our TNT in here, pull back as far and as strong as we can, and fire! Whoa! Why don't you go there? I'll see if I can hit you. No, I don't want to get hit. Oh, this is a test, dude. Look, pretend you're coming to attack us. Jake, this seems a little scary. Fire! Oh! Ah! Didn't really work, Jake. Well, you got water on you, Logan, so I think it did work. As you guys can see behind us, we have our pro fort completely decked out and built, designed by Logan. I don't even think Jake knows where our diamonds are. Uh, to be honest with you, you no, know, and I think that's a good thing, because if they hold me hostage, then I won't know where they are. Jake, welcome to the fort. Oh, dude, this is sick. We have our enchanting table, yes. Some nice artwork, beautiful details. Oh, the diamonds are right here, bro. Yeah, they haven't been hidden. Okay, well, I thought you were gonna hide. I was like, that's not gonna do very well. That doesn't look like pro stuff. No. We're not there yet. Where are we hiding? Where are we hiding though? Underneath my TNT bomb blaster. Well, Jake, you gotta move the crafting table. Oh. Oh. Then you gotta take the piece of art and open it up. Oh. And then you gotta hit the secret button. And now you have the secret what? wall opening up. That is crazy. Yo, they're never gonna find this. There's no way. Dude, how sick is that? Oh, it's like a dark cave. It's almost kind of creepy. Got all the diamonds right here, bro. All right, then you come through this little hole. Now that we're in the secret elevator compartment, it's okay. time to enter the secret diamond room. Oh, yo, dude. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, close the door, close the door. Okay, I can't see if we're in here. All right, okay. We are in the we'll diamond never room. Know. And oh. that is the diamond vault. Now that is a vault if I've ever seen a vault. Reinforced glass. Okay, I'm putting the diamonds in. Okay, guys, we have officially hidden the diamonds. Let's uh, remove this painting and see if there is diamonds. Oh, what? There's a no. spider. Okay, the spider's coming this way. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but there is a pressure plate right there. Yep. Oh. Try out some TNT. What is that? Oh, that racket. What was that? I don't know. Welcome back to another amazing day here in Minecraft Box Fort Week. And we are on day two. If you guys have not seen the previous video, check this out. We have Phil 
and Mr. Biggs, who will be going up against us in a classic Minecraft Pro vs. Noob Challenge. Both teams will have exactly two hours to create the ultimate Minecraft base, filled with defenses and decoys to hide seven diamonds. After the two hours are up, we will both take turns trying to raid each other's base. Whoever can raid it the fastest and find those seven diamonds wins. All right, so now you're up to speed, you know that yours truly is a Minecraft Pro, and I have created an epic Minecraft Pro base to take on. You're not taking on anybody. All right, Phil, well, you better go to your base because you are about to get raided, bro. You know what, Phil? I wanna know what's behind those guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. No one knows. They don't know what's behind those goggles. All right, guys, but today is the day we officially raid each other's bases. We are going to be raiding Phil and Mr. Big's base, and they are going to have the opportunity to raid our epic base and try and steal each other's diamonds. It's time we get Logan and raid a base. Logan, it is time to raid their base. <laughs> Phil, Mr. Biggs, we have come to steal your diamonds. All right, Bigsy, so I think Logan and Jake are coming to find our diamonds. Just act natural. Pretend that this is the only house we have, and there's nothing behind this painting, all right? Okay, sounds good, Phil. Also, let's check on the spiders and see if they've made a nest in there. Oh, yep. Do not want to go in there. Okay, so far no defenses. That's good. Phil? Yeah, Jake? But remember, just act natural. We can do that, right? Perfect. Oh, I see the door. There's the front door. Oh, welcome to our home. Yeah, it's time to give us all your diamonds. Nothing to see here, guys. No diamonds. Get on out. We know you're hiding diamonds. Wait, no, this is our house. This is it. Yeah, I know, and you're hiding diamonds. This is not your house, Phil. I can see a whole rest of the cardboard, and that thing is moving. That's a painting. No, it's not. There's a whole line <laughs> it's it. in the wind, Phil. All right, well, Step enjoy, aside. enjoy the home. Wait, Jake. Yeah. Did he sound too confident about he that? Sounded really confident about he that. He has something up his sleeve. I don't like the sound. Okay. Jake, I feel like this is a trap. <laughs> well, let's uh, remove this painting and see if there is diamonds. Whoa! Oh. What? There's a no. spider! There's, There's a spider! A spider. What? Dude! Hold on, hold on, Logan! Okay, we're gonna have to take out the spider. They seem to have trapped one and he's using it. There's a spawner too! Oh, there's a spawner? There's a spider and a spawn! Do you have a torch? No! Why did you bring torches? We should have brought we're torches! We're Minecraft pros! You guys want to borrow mine? Your what? My torch! Sure! Here you go. Why is it being so nice? I know, right? All right, I'm gonna go take out the spider and place the torch. Why is Phil being so nice? I don't know, man. This is already pretty crazy. They tamed a spider, bro. I don't like this. Jake, I've never seen something like this before. Logan, the spider's coming this way. Use your diamond sword. I'm getting all caught in the cobwebs, dude. Come here, Mr. Spider. Come here, Mr. Spider. Okay, spider's gone quickly. Time to put the torch on the spawner. Okay, we should be good, Logan. I think I see a little hole. I don't know if they want us to climb through here, but there's a little hole. Also, pff, I've got cobwebs all in my mouth. Okay, yeah, all right. They, there's, they were smart. They tamed a spider and put it in their house. It probably crawled in here and they literally blocked it off because they were scared of it. They probably didn't even know what they were doing. Ew! Jake, look at the spider! Yeah, okay, oh, there's spiders everywhere. Okay, we gotta get through this hole somehow. I made it inside through the hole, and now I have found a, another hole that has LEDs all on it. Look, how am I supposed to get up this? I don't know, just do it fast, man. This is really intricate. I wasn't expecting this. We just hit our diamonds. They've got a whole obstacle course. Okay, I don't even know if I can climb up this slide, guys. Oh, whoa, that's right. ah, It's cool, it's cool. They threw cool down at me, Logan. They threw cool on me. Logan, I'm gonna get trapped in this slide. And we're gonna have bigger problems. No, 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 no! No! No more cool! Make the cool stop! Yeah, Jake? Yes, Logan! I think I'm just gonna leave the way we came out. No, you can't do that! That's giving up! Come on, guys. We can make this. I've got coal all over me. But I am determined to find these noobs' diamonds and prove that we are Minecraft pros and they are Minecraft noobs. They might have me in a very small, confined space, but I can get out. Oh. Okay, Logan, I made it to the top. Okay, almost there. What is going on? Who threw the sword here? Hey, Jake, I'm gonna just use their slide to get what? out. Ow. Ooh. 
I didn't think of that. But yeah, after I saw what happened to you, I was like, I'm not doing that. I got all over me. Look at my hands. Okay. Oh, I see their diamonds. You see Jake, that? yes. Oh, they're right for the take. Dude, what noobs. Look, they're literally right there. Ugh. All the diamonds. Yeah. If I could just get out of this slide, I'll grab those diamonds. Just give me a, give me a couple. I'm gonna see how to get out of the slide. It's a very, very steep slide. Uh, okay, I'm okay. Are you though? No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not okay. Okay, well, what do we do? The diamonds are literally there. Do you have like a fishing rod? We can just. Oh, I don't have a fishing rod. I thought they were noobs. I didn't bring any on the sword. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to just break through. Okay, you go in and grab them. I'm not going in. Okay, I went out the slide. Yeah, you gotta go in and grab them. what they've been doing, I'm I not going. I got a nah, literal I'm spider, Logan. I'm you cannot out. leave. You gotta go in there hey, and grab those diamonds. See ya, buddy. Good luck. No, Logan, Logan, you cannot do that. You're a Minecraft I'm pro. Out. Okay, well, the diamonds are just there, but seeing as how Phil has had traps everywhere, I'm going to assume that there is another trap in here. Oh. And it looks like we found it, guys. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but there is a pressure plate right there. Yep, that is definitely a pressure plate. Okay, well, let's uh, activate this bad boy. Oh, oh, oh Jay! I would have gotten egg! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm the sure eggs got... definitely got him. Yeah, definitely. Someone in my mouth. Oh, dude, they had a dispenser with eggs attached to that. That's actually pretty smart. Okay, well, it looks like the diamonds are free to take. Ugh. And just like that, like taking candy from a baby who knows how to set traps, we've got their diamonds. Jake, quickly, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Woo we got the diamonds, let's go! Hey, we got your diamonds! Whoop, whoop. Wait, what? They got the diamonds? How'd they get the diamonds? Wait, you guys got the diamonds? Yeah, we got your diamonds. Why don't you come over here and try and take ours? Logan, let me know when they get close to the base and I'll activate the water pistons. You tell me when. All right. Come and get them! Okay, Big Z, looks like it's our turn to go get the diamonds. Now I know Jake and Logan are really good at Minecraft, so be prepared for anything. It's okay, Phil, I got my shield. Oh no, I don't even have my axe. Where's your axe, Phil? I lost it. All right, when they get close, I'm gonna activate the water pistons using our little trap door and a button behind here. Okay, we're gonna have to go in without it. Are you ready? No. All right, well, you're going first anyway. Phil, I don't oh, know about that's this. that's a pretty big base. Oh, here they come. Bunch of little noobs. Remember, don't set off any trip wires. Okay. Now. Watch where I step. What is that? What is that? Oh, no. Water! All right, I'm gonna start hitting them with the TNT cannon. Phil, I dropped my shield in that. Oh no, oh no. Hey, okay. Phil and Banks, try out some TNT. What is that? What is that? Oh, direct hit! What was that? I don't know, Phil. Oh. What? Coming through! That's right, they're retreating. We can't hold them off forever, we don't have that much TNT. Biggs, how are we gonna get in that base? They've got TNT! I don't know. We haven't even got close to it I yet. I have an idea. You go out, and then I'll try to get into the base. <laughs> Me go out? Yeah, it's your time to shine, Big okay. Z. Go get him! Oh no, he's got his berserk! Launch! 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 All right, it's my time to get in! Throw the TNT! Whoa! All right, guys, I'm in the base. Okay, they're in our base. I don't know what we do. We just chill, act casual. There's nothing in here, Phil. Okay, time to start searching. I caught up to you, Phil. <sighs> Who knew they could build TNT? Ooh, crafting table. Logan, I have to go to one of my secret areas. If they make it, by chance, yell Guggenheimer. Big Z, I found a chest. Guggenheimer? Oh, Big Z, I found a chest. Oh, nice. Diamond's gonna be right here. It's gotta be in there. Ha! An empty chest, you fool! <laughs> Oh, maybe they did what we did. Maybe it's behind the picture frame. No, oh. just some art. No. Nope. Fossil arm, Phil. All right, well, I mean, it's not huge. Check down there. Over by the enchantment table? I don't think there's any diamonds around there. Look for like a hidden switch or something that like moves okay. the enchantment table. If only you guys could let me know where they hit it, then we'd be able to get over there. Oh, yeah. There's nothing but a wall here. This is good. So far, the pros are doing very well. The noobs seem to be confused. Logan? Yes, Phil. Where are these diamonds? 
Ah. Where'd you hide them? I can't find them anywhere. No diamonds here. All right, back into the fort. You know, Phil, no pro leaves their diamonds in their home. Ocean bottle, big Pros Z. leave their diamonds out in the wilderness where no one can find them. Maybe we drink this and see what happens. Do you think we'll get extra strength? Yeah, we could definitely use it after there's TNT. Here goes nothing. Oh, full health bar, let's go! Phil, you didn't save me any. Oh, guys, oh, guys, wait! There's something behind this crafting table! Oh, look what you found, Phil! Oh no, this is the beginning of the end. Oh, perfect! Um, which arrow do I press, up or down? Mm, start with up, Phil. All right, here goes nothing. Is anything happening? I don't hear anything, Phil. All right, looks like the down arrow. Oh no, they've done it. The table is rising. Oh, How's Biggs, check the other room. Check by the enchantment table. Other room. Um, still nothing, Biggs. Oh, wait. Oh, we got it. Secret entrance, Biggs, here we got it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I guess I'll go first, guys. Whoa. Guggenheimer. I can't remember the code word Jake told me to say. Guggenheimer. 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 Go check it out, Phil. Remember, watch for right. Guggenheimer. Oh, it's kind of dark in here. All right, we got a door handle. Pigsy, I think we're getting close. Oh, 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 oh. we hit the jackpot! Did we? We got diamonds! Wait, what's that? Oh, Pigs, I think I set off a tripwire! Oh! It's getting really hot in here! Oh, but guys, we found the diamonds quickly! Phil, oh, it's through. getting really hot though! But they're right there! Guys, we got him! Get out of here! Oh. Okay, we got the diamonds, guys! I'm gonna try my best with the smoky lava trap, but I guess they were able to see through it. Probably Phil's goggles helped him with that. One for you. Thank you. Two for you. Who won? Was it hashtag team noob or hashtag team pro? And welcome back to another amazing video here in Minecraft week. And as you guys can tell, I'm wearing a hat and then another hat because we are back today and Minecraft week has expanded. It has grown in size. There are settlements growing all around our backyard. Yard. Currently, me and Logan have set up our very own pro base, while Phil and Mr. Biggs have gone on a crazy building spree, building a miniature base, a defense base, and now a massive tower base. And guys, you have been absolutely loving Minecraft week. So if you want us to continue building and adventuring in the world of Minecraft, smack that like button. Let's try and crush 28,000 likes. Also, if you guys want to get an amazing shout out at the end of this video, don't forget, all you have to do is hit that bell button, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and most importantly, leave a comment, hashtag squad. But today, guys, I have some unfortunate news. You see, as me and Logan put all of our effort into making our pro base, Phil and Mr. Biggs have worked on expanding, growing their arsenal of diamonds and resources. And I don't wanna say this, but the noobs have become somewhat of the pros. And now they're just really making fun of us. They just keep yelling at us and throwing stuff at us. Let's see what they're up to right now. Phil, Mr. Biggs? Oh yeah, Mr. Biggs? Phil, we have an intruder! No, no, I'm not an intruder, just coming by to say hello. Oh hey, Phil. Oh hey, Jake. How's, how's it going with all those diamonds? going really well, but you're missing them a little bit. I am. You think you could maybe share one or two of those diamonds with me? No sharing diamonds here. Oh, well, Phil, Phil. We can Mr. talk about this. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Mr. Biggs, Mr. Biggs, we can talk about this. Huh? Yeah. No talking. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, the diamonds have gone to fill in Mr. Biggs' head. But today, guys, I have a plan. Today on Minecraft Week, I've decided to take down Phil and Mr. Biggs. I have taken it upon myself to level up from a measly level zero all the way up into a level 100 beast mode. That means going from the smallest level in Minecraft all the way up to the top with every single power that comes with it. Follow along for today's epic adventure in Minecraft Week. All right. It can't be that hard to level up from level zero to 100. I mean, it's only 100 levels. And once I'm that strong, Phil and Mr. Biggs are not gonna know what hits them. There's an old wise tale that on the outskirts of the city of Minecraft lives an old hermit, Mr. Jenkins. I think he'll be able to tell me the way to level up. The door's open. I also don't know if he's still living here. It's been five years. Mr. Jenkins, are you home? I'm in. Perfect. It's Mr. Jenkins, it's me, it's Papa Jake. Oh, if it isn't Papa G. 
I've been waiting for you. I don't know what that means. That's kind of weird. Look, Mr. Jenkins, I, if I can sit, I've decided that I want to level up from level zero to a hundred, and currently I only have half an XP bar. Oh, leveling up. That requires much strength. Yeah, that, that's the point. I, I, I want to do it in like two hours. I know this is something that will take a really long time, but Mr. Jenkins, there's these really mean bullies and they're, they're honestly kind of being really annoying and I, and I want to I wanna destroy them. Let us see what Mr. Jenkins has in his chest. Aha! Milk from my cow. Mr. Jenkins, I appreciate the milk, but I don't know if that's gonna help. I, I mean, you know me, I love milk just as much as anyone else, but I don't exactly think this is gonna help me level up that quickly. I mean, oh, Miss, Mr. Jenkins, that's not milk, bro. Let's turn to cheese. It is fresh milk, drink up. No, 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 I, I am very positive. I drink this, I'm gonna go the opposite. I'm gonna be negative levels, okay? Th th this should not be, dr you should not drink this. Is this what you drink? Do, do you have anything else for me or any tips? Okay, all right, that's more like it. An XP potion bottle. Do you have like 5,000 more of these? Because this isn't gonna be exactly enough for, you know, to get to level 100. To truly get to level 100, Papa J, you must go into the woods, deep into the woods, and kill as many mobs as you can. Creepers, skeletons, spiders, zombies. Yeah, I, 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 I got that part. That's that's just how I, how I would have done it. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Jenkins, for the potion bottle. And uh, I highly recommend you stop drinking that milk. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. All right, guys, well, Mr. Jenkins was not that much help. He did give me an XP bottle, which is gonna level me up maybe to level one, but that's not gonna get me anywhere near level 100. Maybe he is right. Maybe I just need to take my diamond sword, go deep in the woods and grind out these levels. I mean, can't be that bad, and I am Papa Jake. I'm sort of a master of martial arts. You know what? I can do this. I'll go into the woods, I'll find as many mobs as I can, and I'm not gonna leave until I'm level 100 and the strongest player in Minecraft. Roll the epic montage music. We got some mobs laying to... There's no cars in Minecraft, sir. We got some mobs laying to do. All right, guys, I've traveled far and wide and made my way into the forest. Let's get to work. Okay guys, I've been out here killing mobs for the last four hours. I made some progress on my levels. I'm already up to level 30 and I've got a hat and more importantly, I've got myself a bow. Still a long way to go though. And I'm only at level 30. I'm barely even halfway there. There's gotta be a way I can speed this up. Oh no, we got an Enderman. I gotta take care of him first. Okay, Mr. Enderman, let's play. Oh no. Where is he? Oh, hey buddy. Didn't know you were there. Just gonna... Whoa. Oh, come on. Teleporting? You know what? That might have hurt a little bit, but I am going to take that cat from you and all of your XP. Just gonna slowly come over and... Sword throw. Oh, there we go. Level 31, not bad. Hey there, buddy. You wanna come home with Papa Jake? I'll take that as a yes. All right, well, I'm gonna show you the village that we're living in, and you're gonna help me reach level 100. That's right, I am awesome. All right, guys, I made it back home from the woods, and by the looks of it, Phil and Mr. Biggs have been working a lot on their base. I mean, it looks like they've got a bookshelf over there. They're probably working on, like, cool enchantments and stuff. I spent four and a half hours in those woods and barely got to level 30. You know what? I just wanna chill out, relax, and enjoy myself back at base. I don't know how I'm gonna get to level 100, but I must be doing something wrong. 
Mr. Jenkins, is that you? Mr. Jenkins? Oh! What are you doing in my base? It took you long enough. What, what, is, what does that mean? You've been gone what? Six hours? Four, but that doesn't explain why you're in my house right now. That's that's breaking and entering. I came because I decided to help you on your quest to level 100. Yeah, Mr. Jenkins, I don't know how to get to level 100, okay? I've tried everything. I, I, I mean, getting to level 100 is impossible. And you speak in code, Mr. Jenkins. I thought you were the best Minecraft player there is. I just don't understand. There's some way you could explain it to me. Well, of course. Why do you think I've come to your house? I brought my whiteboard. Oh, that, uh, that would actually very much, yeah, that, okay, wow, that's detailed and, yeah, that's it, that's, that's the explanation. You seek to become God Steve, do you not? Level 100. Before coming God Steve, you must learn the three elements of Minecraft. Water, warrior, and horse. Horse? Yes, horses are the most magical beings in all of Minecraft. I thought those were pandas, but okay. With all of those conquered, I will gift you Elantra. And with Elantra, you will become level 100 God Steve. Okay, well that actually made a lot more sense now. So I just need to conquer water, become an ultimate warrior, and tame a horse. To prove to me you have conquered water, I demand a, a relic from an underwater monument. To prove to me you are a warrior, you must bring me the strongest weapon in all of Minecraft. And of course, horses. I must see the most powerful horse in all of Minecraft. Only then, I will gift you Elantra. And now, I shall disappear into thin air. But wait, I have so many, wait, that's not, wait, that's not disappearing into thin air. Mr. Jenkins, that's just breaking my house. All right, well, other than the fact he completely broke my house, uh, he actually was helpful this time. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go for the most powerful weapon. And that's exactly what I did. With over 1,000 lapis I was able to find in the chest, I decided to enchant my bow to the maximum potential it has ever been to. I created a weapon so powerful it had never been seen before in all of Minecraft. And now I was ready to test it out on a spawner full of zombies. Oh, I've done it. I've created the greatest Minecraft blaster in the history of Minecraft. There's no zombie, no person, no mob that can stand in my way. Not even the Ender Dragon could take this on. Well, that's one thing off the list. Next is breathing underwater and getting a relic from a monument. Okay. I'm not really a huge fan of going underwater and fighting big fish, but if it's what I have to do to get Elytra, then it's what I have to do. All right, guys, well, we did it. With the power of an enchanted helmet, we were able to breathe underwater, take down that fish, and now I have an ender dragon egg. Not really sure what this is used for and probably shouldn't be holding this just out in the open, so I'm gonna put this away in my chest. That goes in there. That means we only have one last thing to do before we get the elytra. And once I have my elytra, I'm flying over to Phil's base and showing him my brand new level 100 moves. Just gotta tame the best horse in Minecraft. At first, I had no idea where I was gonna find the fastest horse in Minecraft, but then I remembered. Papa J owns a Lamborghini Huracan Evo, coming in at 630 horsepower with a V10 engine and a max speed of 325 kilometers an hour. All right, guys, I think I have found the fastest horse in Minecraft. Now all I have to do is very quietly tame her. Easy there, girl. Easy there. All right, guys, I am now currently sitting inside the fastest horse in Minecraft. Now it's time for the hard part, taming her. Whoa, 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 slow down there, girl. Don't be angry, don't be angry, Papa Jay's here. It's okay. Okay, okay, all right. There you go, yeah, yeah, there you go. Settle down, settle down. All right. I think we've done it. I think we've tamed the fastest horse in Minecraft. Now I've completed everything I need to finally get Elytra and take down Phil and Mr. Biggs. But first, I think I'm gonna take this horse for a little spin. Mr. Jenkins, you're here. Oh, 
Good. I did it. I did everything on your list. Do I get the wings now? You have done well, Papa J. I have been watching you from the sky. It is your turn. Oh, guys, this is it. We've tamed the greatest horse in the game. We've created the greatest weapon in Minecraft. We breathed underwater and retrieved a relic. Now we get Elytra, and we can finally take down Phil. Thanks. Speak to the sky, Papa J. Thank you. Oh, wow, these are these are kind of heavy. I might need a flight tutorial. Wait, wait, Mr. Mr. J, I, does this come with a tutorial lesson? All right, I've done it. I've got my Elytra. I've got my sword. First things first, I gotta test these bad boys out, and then we're heading straight to Phil's house. Woohoo! I'm flying! This is sick! Oh, I can see all of Minecraft from up here! Whoa! Hey, look at me! I'm a bird! Woo! Alright, I think I'm getting the hang of it. This is easy. I just kind of fly around, cruise wherever I want, and if I need to, blast off! Oh, I can get anywhere with these. Oh, no, 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 no! That was close. Okay, okay. All right, I think I got the hang of these things. Time to land now. Bill, Mr. Biggs, I've come for my diamonds. Oh no. <laughs> Phil! Whoa! What happened to you, Jake? I became level 100, and it's time to get those diamonds back. <laughs> oh, get inside! Phil, you can run, but you can't hide. I'm taking your base down. All right, let's see how strong I've gotten now that I'm level 100. I've got my enchanted pickaxe. Should be able to break Phil's fort in a couple hits. Here goes nothing. I thought I'm a level 100. I thought I'd be way stronger. Oh no. Phil, you might want to get out of there. Phil? Okay, I, I might have I might have been a little too strong. I, I, I didn't really realize how strong level 100 is. I, I kind of messed your base up. You can have your diamonds back. Okay, guys, it's official. We get the diamonds back. Well, it looks like leveling up to level 100's worked out for Papa Jake. Kind of overdid it a little bit. I feel a little bit bad about filling Mr. Biggs' base, but we have officially leveled up to level 100. And if you guys like this video and want to see us do more awesome Minecraft videos like this, smack that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, and comment hashtag squad. Also, I just realized, where's Logan? If I know something about the Blood Moon, there's only one way to stop it, and that is to defeat the Dark Enderman. everyone it's Papa Jake and welcome back to another day in real life Minecraft we are currently on day three four five I actually don't know how many days it's been it's been a lot of days and so far we've had some crazy adventures we've had an epic new verse pro battle try out some TNT what is that, what is that? What? Oh, direct hit. Phil and Mr. Biggs built their very own fort and I even leveled up to level 100 but of course, today is a new day, and that means a brand new adventure. And guys, if you are loving our Minecraft in real life series, then don't forget to smack that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Also, if you want a shout out at the end of the video, all you have to do is make sure you have that bell button click and leave a hashtag squat. And we'll give you an epic squat! Shout out at the end of the video. Currently, guys, we are uh, chilling inside my Minecraft house, which is looking pretty good. I don't know why I have a block of TNT right next to my bed. That's probably not safe. Phil's been preparing us dinner. Phil, how's dinner going? There's five seconds on the timer before I can take it out, G. Looks like we've got a freshly made Minecraft dinner. What do we have? Well, pizza isn't in Minecraft. We went over this. I know, but we've been doing this for four days, Jake. I needed something normal. Phil, we can only eat Minecraft food. Wheat, cake, steak. It's practically an amazingly healthy diet. I've been having bread for five days, Jake. I need a pizza. 
Okay, well, I, I guess tonight we're eating pizza because Phil didn't make us Minecraft food, but that, that's okay. You know, they, they're always adding new food to Minecraft, and I can't eat fish, so pizza works for us. Whoa, Jake, have you seen outside? Look how red it is! Phil, what do you mean, look how red it is? The moon! It's bright red, it's like a tomato! Phil, repeat that one more time. The moon, Jake! It's like a tomato, how red! Check it out! How red is the tomato, Phil? Redder than that TNT block, Jake! Oh, no. Phil? Phil, move aside, I'm sure it's nothing but just a bit... Oh, no. No, 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 Phil, shut the door, shut the door! Why? It was beautiful! Phil, that is not a normal moon. That is a blood moon, Phil. Have you ever heard of that? Blood moon? I don't like the sound of that. I've never heard of it, but I don't like the sound of blood moon! Phil, where are Logan and Mr. Biggs? They said they were going hunting for diamonds in the new cave systems. They brought a lot of resources. I think they're gonna be gone till morning. Oh, no. Phil, listen to me. Mr. Biggs and Logan are already gone. It's just me and you now. Look, have you never read the ancient scriptures that are literally written on the enchanting table? You know I don't know how to read, Jake. Phil, the blood moon has said to come once every 3,000 years in Minecraft. And when it comes, all the zombies, creepers, skeletons, everything rises. And they become 10 times more powerful than you've ever seen. It's said that no survivor can survive a blood moon. No one's ever done it. They're led by a dark enderman. And the only way to stop the blood moon is to defeat him. Hero Brian is said to have done it once, but that could only be a myth. Phil, this isn't good. Jake, I thought we were playing on Peaceful. Not on my server. Okay, well, I'll just be in the same for the diamonds no, no, and uh, no, you, Phil, you can handle this, Phil, right? you're not gonna make it. Phil, Logan and Mr. Biggs are already gone. Well, it looks like Phil is going to hide in the diamond safe, guys. If I know something about the blood moon, and I know a lot because I read the entire book, there's only one way to stop it, and that is to defeat the Dark Enderman. Now, normally I'd say we have no chance, but when building this pro base, I added a secret door, one that I didn't tell Logan about, because you guys know it can't be a Papa Jake base without a secret armory. Check this out. All right, activating the secret hatch now. All right, quickly, let's get into the armory. All right, guys, I am now inside our Minecraft arsenal. And as you guys know, when Papa Jake built a box for it, he's always gotta come prepared in case there's zombies, raccoons, or meat-eating chickens. We just don't know what's gonna be on its way. That's why I brought myself some blasters that no one's ever seen in Minecraft. <sighs> Time to stock up on these bad boys and take down some zombies. I'm hoping that this dark enderman's never seen anything like this before, and we'll be able to stop him before he even gets started. All right, let's go fight some zombies. All right, guys, now that I'm fully geared up, let's see what we're dealing with out there. Oh, no. Looks like they're already trying to break into Mr. Biggs and Phil's base. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We just can't get scared, all right? I've got really cool blasters that they have never seen before. There's no way they can defeat me. Mr. Muffins, I need you to go on a recon mission. I need you to tell me what you see out there and come back. I need numbers. Zombies, how many? Skeletons, how many? Okay, Mr. Muffins, go get them. All right, hopefully Mr. Muffins will let me know what's going on. Personal. You do that to Mr. Muffins? You're messing with Papa J. Let's go. All right, let's go, zombies. Got another zombie trying to get to the base. There's a lot of them, guys, and they are coming from everywhere. Oh, no. Base looks clear. 
going to lock the door. Phil, you okay in there, buddy? Yeah, Jake! Hard things out there! Well, they're not great, Phil. Could really use another person out here. But I'm taking as many zombies as I can. <sighs> Six out of ammo. Got to move to my next blaster. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Oh, I'm starting to break into Mr. Biggs and Phil's base. Hey, stop! Where is he? Oh no! <laughs> Running! Are you serious? Zombies can run now? Uh, oh, it's a mini zombie! Uh, ow, ow, ow. <sighs> they got mini zombies too. Let's hope the skeletons don't have anything close to what I've got. Because if they're rocking firepower too, we're in a lot of trouble. I see the one in Phil's base. <sighs> oh! Okay, let's see if I can climb Phil and Mr. Big's base. Maybe we can get a better vantage point from up here. Okay, a little safer up here. I need to light a torch. This should help. Uh, I think I know just the blaster for this job. It's a Minecraft bee blaster. Perfect for taking out enemies from long range. Let's see what we got. Oh no, they're swarming my base. Phil's in there. This is worse than I thought. Let me take him out. Got one on the right. Come on, come on. Hey there, Mr. Skeleton. Take this. Okay, they're down. I need to get back to my base now. Oh, okay. Looks like I took away the zombies from the base. Phil, you still good in there, buddy? Yeah, Jake, this pizza's really good. Must be nice, Phil, must be nice. Okay, look, this blood moon's gotten a lot worse than I thought. If we're really gonna take out the Dark Enderman, there's gotta be something more to this. I don't know if I have enough blasters in this game to take out every single zombie, let alone the Dark Enderman. These things are fighting harder, they're faster, and much smarter than I thought. But there is one person that might know, Mr. Jenkins. If he's still alive somehow, I think he'll have the answer how to stop the Dark Enderman. Let's go pay him a visit. Okay, I see Mr. Jenkins' house. Looks like the lights are off though. This might not be a good sign. Oh no. There's zombies everywhere. Mr. Jenkins! Mr. Jenkins, are you there? Got another zombie, Mr. Jenkins! Mr. Jenkins, can you hear me? I need a torch. Okay, got a torch. Mr. Jenkins, are you there? What's all that commotion out there? But Mr. Jenkins, it's me, Papa Jake. Papa Jake? What are you doing out there? What am I doing out here? What are you doing in there? It's the blood moon, Mr. Jenkins. There's zombies everywhere. Calm down, Papa Jake. I've seen many a blood moons. I've lived on this block for over 5,000 years. Okay, that's great, Mr. Jenkins, but listen, the blood moon, if I don't stop it, my friends are gonna get eliminated. Look, I've read the text. I know there's a way to stop the Dark Enderman. You must have some sort of information because what I'm doing is not working. How do I stop him? Only one has ever stopped the Dark Enderman. His name was Hero Brian. He enchanted a blaster so powerful. He used all of his 100 levels. He enchanted a blaster using a hundred levels? Well, I am level a hundred. Maybe I can do this. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jenkins. I know what I need to do. Before you go, Papa Jake, take this invisibility potion. It may come useful. Thank you, Mr. Jenkins. I could really use this. All right, guys. Well, it looks like I know what I need to do. I need to enchant a blaster up to level 100. The only problem is I've got the enchantment table at my base. I just don't have enough lapis. All the lapis we have was in Phil and Mr. Biggs' original base, and that's all the way across the map. I think I'm going to have to drink this potion and go on a little bit of a stealth mission. If I can get that lapis, enchant my blaster, then I'll have a shot at taking down the Dark Enderman. Here goes nothing. Whoa, this is awesome. I'm invisible. Okay, put away my blasters. I'm just gonna use my sword if I absolutely need to. Okay, not gonna go there. Okay, 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 Ooh, walking around you, buddy. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. All right, I see Mr. Biggs and Phil's base. Now I just need to get over there and get the lapis. If I remember correctly, it should just be in that front room. The lapis. Yes. Okay, I just gotta grab it now. Alright, easy does it. 
No one will even know I was here. What's happened to my invisibility? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Just, uh, just collecting some stuff and heading out. Don't mind me. You guys are really strong. Okay, it's just me and you, Mr. Skeleton. It looks like you're out of ammo. A diamond sword! It literally broke my diamond sword! How do you break diamonds? That's impossible! Alright, I really need to get back and enchant this blaster. It's our last hope. Okay, I made it back to the base. Phil? Phil, how you doing in there, buddy? I don't know, uh, I think I was just sleeping or something. I'm, I'm really good, actually. Would expect nothing less, Phil. Don't worry, I've got it under control, as always. Seriously, Phil? Stop that! I'm trying to do something here! Sorry, G. Just really tired. Okay, just stay up for a little bit longer. All right, I've got the enchanting table here. And my final blaster that I have uh, is... Oh, oh no. This? Seriously? Well, if this is the blaster I'm gonna have to use, then it's the blaster I'm gonna have to use. Now it's time to enchant this thing with all 100 levels of mine and all my lapis. Um, guys, I don't think I've seen a blaster as powerful as this in my entire life. Oh, this definitely might be what we need to take down the Dark Enderman. I think we've done it. <laughs> I actually think we did it. I sacrificed all 100 of my levels, but guys, I think we've done it. Now all we need to do is find the Dark Enderman and give him a load of this. <laughs> oh, Minecraft just got a lot more fun. Okay, well that wasn't too hard to find him. He's literally the uh, massive Enderman holding a massive flamethrower. Hey, Mr. Dark Enderman, over there! Whoa. Ah. Ah. I can't get too close to that flamethrower. Time to use this thing. Barely did anything! Are you kidding me? Yeah. Shoot the flame throw. Right. He's so right. Yeah. <laughs> it worked! Not so fancy now, are you, without your flamethrower, Dark Enderman? Let's see how you like this. Fire! He's gone! I did it! I stopped the Dark Enderman! <coughs> this thing actually worked! Phil! Logan! Mr. Jenkins, you guys can come out, I've saved the day. Wow, although, as much as I like this blaster, I think this is too much power to have in Minecraft. I think you're also gonna have to go too, buddy. All right, guys, well, with that cleared up and the moon officially turned back into, well, a normal moon, Papa Jake has once again saved the day in Minecraft. If everything went as planned, Logan and Mr. Biggs never even knew there were zombies, and Phil is asleep right now eating pizza. But guys, if you did enjoy this video and you thought it was super awesome taking down the Dark Enderman, then smack that like button. And before I go, I do want to give a massive shout out to today's squad member. And guys, today's epic squad member shout out goes to Tim the Gamer 652 So if you see him down below in the comments, be sure to give him a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below his. And if you guys want a shout out in the next Papa Jake video, all you have to do, like I said, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell button hit that like button and leave a comment hashtag because i just saved minecraft and if you guys want to see more awesome minecraft videos then let me know in the comments below what we should do next but guys this has been papa jake and i will see you in the next video